And a good day, everyone. I'm Jewel, and this is the J7409 Tropical Update for Saturday, the 21st of September, 2019. If you're into the weather, you like to know what's going on all around you at times with special updates, please click subscribe, then click the bell to ensure you get all that informa information as I put up these videos daily to ensure everyone's safety. This is the European model. Many, many models. You can't write this in stone, okay? But it's something good to go by. And of course, we can see Jerry up here this morning. Now, Jerry, this morning is a tropical storm. The winds are 65 miles per hour, but it will intensify later on in the week. So I'm going to turn this model on right quick. You're going to see the areas down around the Dominican Republic in this area where we have a system and how the rain's going to go over into Jamaica, some over here. We have another system here we're going to have to watch because it may develop into something. And these showers you see over here, well, that's, this is just part of the system that is coming off of Africa. This system will not come off the coast of Africa with all of its entire rain showers and wind bands until tomorrow. So I've got this set for 9 o'clock this morning. It should run through Monday the 30th. So, of course, you know, after we go out, maybe three to five days at the most, that's what you can actually kind of depend on. But when it gets past that, it's kind of iffy. But here we go. What's going on in the tropics? Well, it's looking like that Jerry this morning, the winds are 65 miles per hour, okay? Now, the center of Jerry is going to continue to pass well north of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico today and pass well east of the southeastern Bahamas tomorrow, and then it should turn northward over the western Atlantic by Monday. That's when it should make its turn. Now, also, we have a tropical wave that looks like environmental conditions are currently conducive for some development. And this tropical depression could form Sunday, tomorrow, or early next week while this system moves quickly westward to northwestward, crossing the Windward Islands tomorrow. That's the system right down here that I'm talking about. Now, everybody down there, just be on alert, okay? The, a tropical depression could form tomorrow or early next week while this system's moving quickly westward to west-northwestward, and it's going to cross the Windward Islands on Sunday. Now, heavy rainfall is possible over much of the Lesser Antilles over the weekend, and interest on those islands and Puerto Rico should monitor the progress of this disturbance. The system has a medium chance for tropical formation through the next two days. We have a Western Caribbean tropical wave. It's looking like scattered to moderate confection is over the southwestern portions of Haiti and Jamaica. And it may have a chance. It may not. It's looking more like just a tropical wave is going to be going on during that time period. Now, we're going to turn to the Gulf of Mexico. We have surface ridging there, and it's prevailing across the basin. It's anchored by a high centered over North Carolina. Now, this feature is keeping an east to southeast flow across much of the basin. Latest scatter meter data is depicting moderate to fresh northeast winds near the eastern Gulf and general to moderate east southeast winds over the central and west gulf now some isolated moderate convection is over the straits of florida this morning and high pressure centered over the carolinas will dominate the gulf waters through sunday so this high pressure that i've got over my state that's what's taking care of everything for the gulf in florida now we got a low off of <coughs> excuse me jamaica and it's continuing to produce only disorganized showers and thunderstorms. That's because we've got strong upper level winds and significant development of this system. Really isn't expected while it's going to move slowly west northwestward during the next couple of days. But regardless of development, locally heavy rainfall is likely over portions of Hispanola, Jamaica, and Cuba 
through the weekend potentially could be causing some flash flooding and mudslides in the areas of high terrain in those areas. So once again, it's looking like Jerry right now is a tropical depression. It will turn out to be a hurricane once again though folks and people up here in Bermuda if you've seen it slide by please be on the outlook and be aware now as we come over and look at the National Hurricane Center's map here we'll start right here this center is what we call just a disturbance of the low pressure system as of now okay it's centered Near the eastern tip of Cuba, it continues to produce only disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Significant development of the system is not expected while it moves slowly west-northwestward during the next couple of days due to those strong upper-level winds I was talking about and also the interaction with high terrain and land. But regardless of development, locally heavy rain is likely over portions of Hispanola, Jamaica, and Cuba through this weekend, and it could cause some flash flooding and mudslides in these areas. It's zero, two days, five days, going to be a big rainmaker. Jamaica, you saw the rain going over this way. People in Jamaica, you're going to get some rain out of this system also. Now, this system, for all my friends on the islands, disturbance number one, we're going to have to watch real carefully okay now it's several hundred miles east of the windward islands it's a large area of showers and thunderstorms and the wave is forecast to move quickly westward to west northwestward at around 15 to 20 miles per hour so that's a good thing for the next day or two now as it crosses the windward islands tomorrow Although the system is currently disorganized, environmental conditions appear to be conducive for some more development and a tropical depression. Not a tropical storm, a tropical depression could form later this weekend or early next week. Now, a NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system this afternoon, but regardless of development, you're going to get some heavy rain. Heavy rain is possible over much of the Lesser Antilles over this weekend, and interest on those islands and also Puerto Rico should monitor the progress of this disturbance. In, five to, in two days, it's 50%. In five days, is up to 60 percent and then we have this system here that i've talked about for the last two weeks finally it's going to get off the coast of africa tomorrow and folks it looks like we may have another one coming behind this one we'll have to wait and see if it works out you know i watch everybody's videos and i see all the different comments and i get i can't help but kind of smile to myself sometimes someone was talking about this system yesterday and some of the comments were, well, it's just going to go up here and go on out. It ain't going to bother nobody. Well, that may happen, but it might not happen either. It's a long ways away. Lots of things can happen. We got to check the jet stream. We got to check the dry air, the sheer wind, the currents, the water currents, the water temps. I mean, I could go on and on, but I'm not. It's too far out to actually know where it's going. But it is going to turn into something, and it's forecast to move off the west coast of Africa by tomorrow, and the environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for development. A tropical depression or tro tropical storm is likely to form next week while the wave moves westward across the eastern tropical Atlantic. In two days, 40%, five days, 90%, it will turn into something, folks, and it could get kind of big, okay? So just, you know, watch these systems. You have to watch these systems and do much much work if you really know what's going on with them just because it looks like this now does not mean it's going to look like this forever it could it could not but don't just blow it off because it's going to be a big bad storm okay so with that all said and done i'm going to keep my eyes on everything for everybody 
I did not do a video last night because I wanted to see what the progression of these storms would be, especially this one right down here, and it does look like it has a better chance of forming now. And when it comes to Jerry, once again, the winds are 65 miles per hour. It's moving at a pretty good clip at 15 miles per hour, and we will check the tracking map right quick. And everybody in Bermuda, look here. It should remain a tropical storm as it approaches you, looking like hurricane conditions are going to happen just as it goes past you, looking like it's going to go right over you. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. You could have a hurricane. You could have a tropical storm. Either way, it's not good news for Bermuda. It hasn't been but about five days, maybe six, since you already had the outskirts of Hurricane Humberto, and it did a lot of damage to you guys. Well, this one's going to more than likely hit you head on, so do prepare. That's it for the tropical update as of now. Everybody have a good day, a safe day, a blessed day. If you have anyone in any of these areas that need to know this information, please share it with them and help me to help keep people safe. I would appreciate it so, so very much. And as far as the eastern seaboard and the Gulf goes, I've got my eyes on it. Hurricane season's not over yet. We still got over a month of hurricane season, and these systems are going to keep popping off of Africa, it looks like, with a good chance. Only time will tell. Peace, love, and kindness to all. I love you all. Have yourself a great day, and thanks for watching.